Hello my targets, my name is Easy Target Nin, and we are here with another type of video, so don't be alarmed. This is just something I've been wanting to do, because uh, Sparking Zero is coming out and all that, and I really wanted to talk more about it, like uh, a lot of other YouTubers are doing right now. Uh, just something side to do, besides gaming and stuff, I thought it'd be interesting to do, go ahead. But, uh, the purpose of this is I just want to talk about my favorite topic, which is Dragon Ball Z. I don't bring it all up a lot on the channel, but it's personally been my favorite in, like, for so long. Like, before any, any other anime. Uh, it's just like, but Easy, why, why don't you represent as a Dragon Ball character? I mean, like, I would, but there's so many of them right now. <laughs> I, ra I wanted to represent a character... Who most I identified as, and that was always Izuka Midoriya from My Hero, because of the personality and all that. Uh, but over that, by the way, yes, this is what I look like. It's been a while since I had my camera. Uh, I'm finally utilizing my green screen finally, so I'm happy about that. But that's enough of that. Let's get into why I brought y'all here. Um, so I had this specific topic in mind about Sparking Zero, and it's always been about the question of blood and all that such let me go ahead and turn off discord my bad my bad i i'm very unprofessional of me very unprofessional i was i was i didn't really think if i was gonna do this today i thought i was gonna do it on on another day really but uh this is on the question on whether there should be blood or not in the game and what i mean by that is you got a game like uh, Burst Limit, Budokai Tenkaichi, and others, where they show somewhat blood in the game. Uh, I should have pictures showing up if I can't find it, but uh, I should have them posted in the front row, you know? Anyway, what I know they uh, stopped using blood in Super for quite a while because of children watching the show. But, uh, the whole countermeasure about this is kids are not just watching Dragon Ball Z. They're also watching My Hero, One Piece, Black Clover. They're watching all those things. Either way. And something like My Hero, it's got a lot of blood in it. Like, a whole lot of blood. But they don't really care, apparently, uh, about that. But when they see Dragon Ball Z, you see this image of Vegeta, like, screaming at the top of his lungs with his head bashed in right here. They're like, oh no, the kids are watching this. Oh no. Um, but, uh, I think it's ridiculous. But one thing I am glad about is they did bring it back for a soul image from the Piccolo and Cell Max fight in the new movie. They did bring it back. I have an image up here, right here. And... They were allowed to use it. I mean, I'm guessing it's because of movie purposes. They wanted to add more flair to it. But what if we can get that back in Daima? That would be great. You know? And most importantly, I think they should bring it back in this game as well. They should definitely reintroduce blood in a Dragon Ball game again. I'm not saying it should be extreme like Vegeta's or anything. It could be little spatches like this, where it's kind of blacked out, but you could still tell he was bleeding. Quick thing, I forgot to mention in the video, uh, there's a there was a part I wanted to talk about, about the blood system. If they wanted to turn off the blood system, they should give us a setting right when we start the game. Like, you know how most games gives us, like, sensitivity settings, like, hey, do you want this on or gore on gore off or anything like that they should give us an option if there is blood that we can turn it off just for the safety of kids playing if that's what they're worried about i think that would uh, honestly suit everybody if there was just a setting at the beginning of the game that lets you turn it on or off but that's that's just me that's just me all right uh anyway back to the actual video like, I don't see anything like that, but hopefully they are going to add it when the game's finished. I don't know. No one said anything. Uh, but really, 
I think it's important that we should have it because it brings in like just more flair to the fights like it actually would feel like it would matter in some way I mean I still like it I still love the gameplay no matter what it's all amazing I just it's just like a little nitpick that I wanted to talk about that I'm hoping they add blood so let me read what I actually pointed out in these posts I think I think it'd be uh, a good noticeable and if y'all if y'all are seeing this video please please give, show me support um, try to subscribe and like this video and go ahead and repost this post on uh, X Twitter whatever it's called now I, don't, I barely use it and this is the only time I'm ever gonna use it so get the chance I'll link it down this uh, the description so let me go ahead and read what my points are I said who all agrees that they should bring back blood in this game you know it you know it should it's a rated T game plus you know how many kids watch me or hero academia and one piece etc have etc have a ton of bloods in it and like what could hurt to just have s small scuffs on their faces let me know and I also stated let me also point out that they teased us with some of this blood in the superhero mirror. See, like I said, I have the image right here. Piccolo's bleeding quite a lot, actually. It's like we got another YouTube here. Go subscribe to Campy Games. He he does great Sparking Zero content so far. Uh, he says he agrees. It makes it would make it more realistic. And I said definitely spread word. All right. Uh, and then to add on, I said. Plus, if it's references they need, which has always been a whole thing with uh, games, is they need the references from other games or the, the show entirely. Like, sometimes they'll do manga exclusives, but that's only in other games, like Dragon Ball Heroes and stuff. And that's fine. But uh, I'm talking about, like, any of the movies. I don't know if they're going to do movies. I hope they are. Um... Uh, they should. I mean, like, they have they have never stopped doing movies before. And it would be weird if they just did all of a sudden. Uh, but most of the time, like I said, if they need references they need, uh, then they have tons of references they can use for blood. I mean, heck, it doesn't even have to be blood red either. It could be black marks too. But yeah, that's literally I have to talk about about this sorry I'm still uh, like this is this is a new topic for me for me personally but it's always been in the back of my mind clearly um, since we're on the topic of battle damage I also had a other post earlier I I'm liking uh, how they're going with the uh, battle damage of like all the characters though I feel like even if there's not references to most of the characters having ripped shirts or anything, you should add a little something to it. Even if it needs references, y'all could figure out something. I mean, most of the characters are wearing the same clothes. That's like, like Yamcha's wearing orange G, Krillin's wear. you know what I mean. No, I'm not, this is just another rant. But I feel like they almost got it exactly what I want it with. Like they got they got the they got this as the first phase. Oh, I didn't mean that. And then they got the entire shirt off. This is not the image. I swear I had another image. But you know what I mean. But uh I want more to it. I want sorta of every variation of this. Like I want it to start out with just the half orange G and then fully orange off with just the blue and then half the blue and then fully off uh, I think it should be very progressive between the fights and stuff because that would that would make it a whole lot better then again I am fine with it I'm not saying they should forcibly do this I'm just giving off my opinions and everything I hope most of y'all agree and stuff I hope they consider it I really do uh, I'm not saying it's gonna happen or anything like that I just want I want them to like understand that there's just there's some people who actually want this kind of thing they want blood they want accuracy to battle damage 
Heck, when I went when I was reading that it was gonna be Unreal Engine 5, there are so many possibilities to make it super high real high high realistic. You know what I mean? Where certain moves can just rip pieces off. In fact, actually let me point this out real quick. Um so there's some there's some mechanic in Dead Space Remake that they invested in with the new Unreal Engine 5. And it's one of the coolest things I've ever seen uh, someone do. And it's the uh, the quick tear uh, mechanic where if you shoot a piece of their limb, their, uh, their, you know, their flabby, like, skin and their, like, meat and stuff starts flying off and all you can see is their exposed bone. And then you shoot the exposed bone and that's when they fly off. If you know what I'm talking about, I'm a big horror game nerd when it comes to this stuff. Uh... But, like, it applies to any part of the thing. If they were able to implement somehow that, hey, a big blast only hit here or here or here, it would affect the, uh, it would affect it. But then again, that sounds like a lot of work. And I, I, I'm just coming up with my head, this stuff. But um, that's really one that I wanted to talk about. If you have any suggestions of what y'all want, please comment down below on what you really want in Sparking Zero. Because I like to hear y'all's theories, and then we'll probably talk about them in the next video. Uh, if you ever want to know more, uh, not more, no more, or like talk about Sparking Zero in another video, please, please like that video and subscribe for more. My name is Easy Target In, and our mission's complete. You're a superhero.